Let's talk about revival. What's the sense of having all these revivals, but then you're back in the bondage. You do all this shouting, running around the church, which is great. David danced for the ark. By all means, God inhabits the praises of his people. But what's the sense of having all these revivals, but you got no intentions of staying revived? You had these revivals, but you didn't stay revived. Stand fast, dead, forth in the liberty, hallelujah, wherein Christ had made you free. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, and be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. You got to have roots. Go to verse, go to Mark chapter 4 again. You got to have the word in you to stay free, to stay revived. Not just get revived and jump and shout, and then two weeks later, you're back in the world. Why? Because the presence of sin is still there. You got to have a determination to live holy. There are a lot of preachers who are preaching the word. They preach deliverance. They preach healing. They preach everything. You preach everything else but holiness. You hear these word channel preachers. You preach healing, deliverance. You preach everything else but repentance. How can you preach deliverance and skip over preaching repentance? A real deliverance preacher, hello somebody, will not just preach deliverance, but you'll preach repentance. Come on, somebody. You'll preach holiness. The Bible said in uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, follow peace with all men for holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. You got to preach holiness. You can't call yourself a deliverance preacher and you ain't preaching repentance. The reason why folk are not getting delivered because of many don't want to repent. Shh. Repent means to stop and turn away from sin. Many of you don't want to turn away from sin. That's why you find yourself back in sin and you're back in bondage. You want to be free. You, you want to pray, but don't want to obey. You got to obey, but many of you don't want to obey. You just want God to give you miracles. You just want to pray to God when you want miracles. Jesus healed 10 lepers. Only one came back to give him glory. Jesus said, what, what happened to the other nine? Have I not healed ten leopards? What happened to the other nine? The other leopards got their miracle and cut out. But they didn't want to follow Jesus. Many of them just followed Christ just to get a miracle. But when it came to obeying him, they didn't want to obey. They weren't ready to give up, to follow Jesus. So yeah, you go to all these miracle crusades. Yes, you're getting all these miracles, but what's the sense of getting out of a wheelchair and still dying on the hell because your soul is not saved? And you're going to the lake of fire, which is worse than hell. For John said, and I saw death and hell cast in the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 14 said, hell has enlarged itself without measure. Many church folk are going to hell. As well as folk outside the church because you're not ready to live holy. A lot of preachers ain't going to preach holiness. Many of you are preaching holiness, but many are not. Why? That ain't the money-making message. You are praying to God, but you are not obeying God. This is why you have not stayed free. But you're back in the sin. You're back into the world. Because the pleasures of the world is still in your heart. You're not ready to come out the clubs. You don't want to stop stripping and taking your clothes off in the club. You don't want to stop partying. You still want to be home mugging and committing adultery and lying and being jealous and backbiting folk and being gossipers and liars and being racist. Racist folks, you're going to hell. Got all this hatred. When you got all this evil in your heart, God is not going to stay in your heart because God is not going to indwell in an unclean temple. The Apostle Paul said in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Many of you are not ready to live holy. This ain't no dancing message. This ain't no shouting message. This ain't no TBN word channel message. What's the sense? I want to get on the word channel, but you're not obeying the word. Many of you preachers, I guess preaching prosperity. But you're still going down seeing the witch doctors. You're still with the Illuminati's. The Illuminati's is of the devil. 
Your devil worship is on your way to hell if you don't repent. Because the Bible said ha, in Romans chapter 6, ha, verse 23, ha, that the wages of sin is death. Ha, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, I am the way, not the Pope. The Pope is of the devil. He got the spirit of the Antichrist. That Vatican and the Catholic Church is for the Antichrist and not for Jesus Christ. The Pope done told the world that Jesus never rose from the dead. The devil is a liar. Jesus did arise from the dead. The Pope is going to hell. He's promoting homosexuality. When the Bible said it's an abomination against God, read the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22, and Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, and Romans chapter 1, verse 27. Men going with men, women going with, with women. Read the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. It talks against that effeminate spirit. I don't care what Obama say. What did God say? God's word was here way before Obama got here. God is not going to change his mind. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is still a holy God. Ever since Obama passed that gay right bill, my bill wants to become Jill. God will never tell a man to get his sex changed. But God wants you to make a change by repenting of your sins. Repent, repent, and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the emissions of sin. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Folk ain't going to like this kind of preaching. But this is the kind of preaching that will help you get to heaven if you obey God's word. Hallelujah. I'm not preaching for the money. I didn't make money, my honey. The time for you preachers to live right and stop cheating on your wife. Stop having sex with every girl you pray for. Are you, are you going to hell? The bishops are going to hell. Pastors are going to hell. It's time to live holy. No wonder you ain't free. You're going to church, but still backslidden. But the Lord said, go back to your first love and do your first works over again. Behold, I'm coming quickly. Have your oils in your lap. I'm a holy God. God said, be holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not coming back for a lukewarm church, but I want a holy church. I want a holy bride. Have your robes white. I know somebody getting mad, but holiness is right. Many of you preachers don't want to preach it because you're in it for the money. You con artists are going to hell. You preachers down in Africa who stage in miracles, paying people to lie, to sit up in a wheelchair, to act like they sick, to deceive the people. You and the woman in the wheelchair is going to hell. It's time to get right with God. Jesus Christ is coming again. If you ain't holy, you're not going to heaven. Hallelujah. God is not trying to force you to live holy. If you said you love Jesus, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Come out the witchcraft. Stop seeing the witch doctor. Put down the title card. Throw it away. Throw away the Ouija boards. Throw away the socket lines. And come to Jesus. Stop burning your candles and your incense burning. Throw away the rosary bees. It got demons on that stuff. No wonder you got so many demons in your house and all these evil spirits. When you're going down to the witch doctor and seeing tarot card readers and caught in socket lines, that's a gateway to open up doors for demons to torment you and give you bad luck. But I don't preach luck. I preach about blessings. Stop seeing the voodoo worker. When you throw away that stuff, which is the accursed thing, I preach about this on YouTube. Go to it. In my last two, I preach about getting rid of the accursed thing. Look it up, Apostle Warren, David Adams, look it up. Part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, I preach about this. Many of you got some accursed things in your house. Throw it away, then you'll see deliverance. Then you'll see God set you free. Then you'll see God give you power to stay free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But you got to stay in the word of God. Worship God in spirit and in truth. For they that worship God ha, must worship God ha, and spirit and in truth. Many of you preachers are preaching the word, but you're skipping 
over preaching holiness. You're preaching everything else but holiness. You're preaching God is love. Yes, he is love. You're preaching that God is a deliverer. Yes, he is a deliverer. Yes, you're preaching that God is a way maker. That he can give you money. Yes, he can do those things. You're preaching everything else but preaching repentance. You're preaching everything else but you skip over preaching holiness. You go into hell too if you don't repent. Blind leading the blind and you're both going to fall in the ditch. We got to come back to the basics. Come back to the word. Go back to your first love and do your first works over again. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where Christ had made you free. God bless you. This apostle Warren David Adams, Jesus loves you. And he don't want to see you die and go to hell. I want to teach you how to be free and how to stay free. Don't go back into bondage. The devil is going to try all he can to take you back into that lust. Because we all got a weakness. We all got things that we're wrestling with. I'm a preacher. The devil sends attractive women to me all the time. Because I love beautiful women. I know I'm a virgin. And it's not easy being a virgin. I get thoughts. But I'm determined to live holy. How do I do this? I got to stay in the word. So I won't go into fornication. The devil had to sit and marry women to me. Have, who wants to have an affair? And many got mad at me because I wouldn't have an affair with her. Well, she's not my, well, you're not my wife. The Bible said have one wife and one husband. Don't have no sweethearts on the side. Many of you are committing adultery in the church, cheating on your husband, cheating on your wife, and yet you do all this shouting and dancing around the church. A shout is not going to get you into heaven. Living holy is going to get you into heaven. So a lot of folk don't like preaching why? Because I preach this way. You want to follow these word channel preachers who ain't preaching no holiness, quoting all these scriptures, preaching everything else, but don't want to preach holiness. We got to come back to holiness. This ain't, this ain't no dancing message. This is not, not a message that's going to make folk like me, but it's not about me. It's about what God wants. Hallelujah. This is what, he, what God requires from us because he still is a holy God. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Not just forgive me, but sanctify me. Purify me. Help me to stay holy. Purify me. Purify me. Say, Lord, purify me. Sanctify me. Whatever ain't right, take it out of my life. Come out, the Illuminati's, you bishops. You open the Illuminati's, have all these mega ministries, and yet you're still doing devil worship and all this blood sacrifice. God sees you. You're going to hell if you don't repent. No matter how many people are coming to your ministry, God is already seeing what you're doing behind the scenes. You can't serve Jesus and bow for men at the same time. Love the one and hate the other. You can't serve two masters. It's either Jesus or Baphomet. Baphomet is the devil. You ought to stay free. Stay in God's word. Those of you who got molested when you was a girl. Those of you who got sexually abused when you was a boy and you were solemnized. Jesus is healing your heart right now. If you want to repent, God can deliver you. If you're homosexuals, God can deliver you. Many of you got solemnized when you was a boy. Jesus loves you. He doesn't love the act, but he loves you. You can be free right now. God can deliver you, lesbians, because he loves you. Many of you don't trust men because you was abused by men. You watch your father beat up on your mother all your life. You had all these bad men in your life, and that's why you don't trust men, and you don't like yourself. But Jesus loves you. You get the Holy Ghost, he'll teach you how to love yourself. You can't love your neighbor if you don't love yourself. Jesus said, love your neighbor as thyself. Many of you feel dirty because you got molested, because you got sexually abused, and so you went into that promiscuous lifestyle, and now you're stripping in the club. Jesus said, I come to heal your broken heart. After he healed you, now God want to help you stay healed. To get rid of the flashbacks from the past, when you was abused as a girl, and abused as a boy. Hallelujah. When you get the word of God in your heart, have roots. Jesus can heal your broken heart and set your mind free and your heart free when you make your body the temple of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus is in your heart, there's no room for depression. There's no room for torment in your mind. God will give you a peace of mind. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, 
But God will send angels to minister to you, to watch over you. But most of all, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the chief cornerstone of the church, our master, Jesus Christ, my master, your master, for those of you who are serving the, the Lord and not the devil, but I'm serving the Lord Jesus Christ, the root and the offspring of David and the bright and the morning star. God can heal you right now when you give your heart to Jesus Christ. He can make your life brand new so you can make it to heaven to be with Jesus. Don't worry about this coronavirus. This coronavirus is a sign of God's judgment. I'm not talking to those of you who love the Lord. Don't worry about it. Now, those of you who are not saved, you need to worry about it. Because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you're not born again, you will not enter into the kingdom of God according to St. John chapter 3. But you got to repent. Which means turn away from sin. Read the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and verse 10. Read the book of Acts 2.38. I don't understand how many of you preachers ain't preaching Acts 2.38. You're skipping over Acts 2.38. Read it. You got to preach the whole word. Got, this is why many of you are not living holy. Because you don't have the Holy Ghost to help you live holy. You just repeating the sinner prayer. It takes more than just repeating sinner prayer. You got to have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Being baptized in the name of Jesus. And it's good to have feet washing services. Jesus said you don't have this. You have no part of me. And the word Christian is in the Bible. I was in the era. In, in the past, I said that there's that the word Christian is not in the Bible, but it is. Read the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse fifteen, and go to verse sixteen. The word Christian is in the Bible. First Peter, chapter four, verse sixteen. You can, Christian means to be Christ-like. All right, we must live holy. I don't understand how many of them Catholic church say you Christians, but you worshiping Mary. You're not supposed to worship Mary. Mary is worshiping God herself. That's a statue. Throw away that statue. That's connected with them heathens up in the Catholic Church who worship the sun god. I worship God, not the sun god. They're worshiping Tamus. All that witchcraft in the Catholic Church, worshiping all them idols, is not of God. That's why they had them Sunday morning services. But see, I preach on the Sunday mornings to win souls. I'm not serving the sun god. The Catholics are doing that. They worshiping idols. They worshiping tamers. Which is connected with Babylon. God is against Babylon. Most of the churches, most of you are devil worshipers. Hallelujah. If you're going to keep the Sabbath day holy, you got to be holy. Have the laws in your heart. The laws is, so you just preach about the laws on the tablet back in the days of Moses. That God gave the laws of Moses. Moses was a great servant of God. But ever since Jesus Christ came, we the New Testament, God wants the laws written now in your heart. Have the Holy Ghost in your heart. If any man be in Christ, he's a, he, come, he becomes a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become brand new. God bless you. Jesus loves you, and I love you too, but Jesus loves you more. Stay free. Stand fast, therefore, for the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So we can all be with Jesus. So when that great day come, when Jesus come in that sky, I'm not just satisfied with seeing him. I want to be with him. I want to be with him. We got to be holy because he's holy. I'm glad he's like that. He said be holy. He come back for a holy bride. It makes sense for Jesus Christ to want a holy bride. It makes sense. He's holy. You don't want to get married and, and your bride and your bride filthy and got her hair sitting up like buckwheat walking down the aisle. Hair sitting up like Don King didn't do her hair. Lip all chopped up. Face ashy. You don't want your groom looking like a bum. But you want your groom looking handsome with his tuxedo. You want your bride looking fine. The finest thing in that church should be the bride. That's why they got a song called Here Comes the Bride. All dressed in white. You, the bride is supposed to be the most beautiful woman in that church on her wedding day. Not even the bridesmaid is supposed to look more beautiful than the bride. All eyes is on the bride. That's what they got a song called. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Not here comes the devil all dressed in white. You want your bride to be an angel. 
a, a, a holy human angel who loves the Lord. But that's how Jesus Christ is. It makes sense that he wants his church to be holy. It makes sense. God is holy. That's why he said in the book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse 44 and verse 45, be holy for I am holy, which applies to the church to the day. Read the book of First Peter chapter 1, verse 16. So it makes sense for Jesus to want us to be holy because he is holy. He want a holy bride. If you ain't holy, you ain't getting to heaven. Why? Heaven is a holy place. Why? God is holy. God's angels is holy. Hallelujah. Heaven is not like the Emerald City and the Wizard of Oz. The Emerald City ain't holy. The Emerald City and the Wizard of Oz is magical. God is against magic. Magic is of the devil. The wizard is of the devil. God ain't got no wizards up in heaven. Read the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19, verse 31. He said, regard not them who got familiar spirits, neither seek after the wizards, for I am the Lord your God. Dorothy, the tin man, and the scarecrow, and the cowardly lion, was off, she and the wizard, what they call the wonderful wizard of Oz. There ain't nothing wonderful about the wizard. The wizard is of the devil. They should have been off seeing the wonderful counselor, Jesus Christ, who is holy, who's better than the so-called wonderful wizard of Oz. If you don't get saved, you and the wizard is going to hell. Be off to see Jesus, the wonderful counselor, so you can go to heaven to be with Jesus. God bless you. This is your friend, the gospel, Apostle Warren, David Adams, better known as Preacher Warren. Expect a miracle from God. Bless you.